hey, let's go here, and I'm going to show you guys some of the library books that I have out. And so that includes some library books that I've shown in previous library, like, haul videos, because I keep renewing things. Um, and it includes a lot of books that I just got out, even though I wasn't supposed to take any out right now. I have 19 things out. I'm not sure if I'm showing you all 19. Some things are actually in the bag, ready to go back right now. Um, but I might pull those out and show them to you as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of things to show, so we're just going to jump right into this. Reese's grab from the library was Gabby, A Girl in Pieces by Isabel Quintero, and I saw this book, Colorful Spine, on the shelf. I went, I'm pretty sure, like, from a distance, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I know what book that is, because uh, my friend RC over at Nephew the Book Lock, which is the channel, I'm going to link it down below, really loved this book. And I saw it at my library, and I was like, I just have to take it out, even though I'm not supposed to be taking things out right now. And that created, like, a like, waterfall of things where I just took out, like, five other things with this book. But, yeah, that happened. Symptoms of Being Human um, by Jeff Garvin, which I've heard some great things about. I know this is a book about something dealing with gender queer issues or gender non-conforming people. I think the main character is gender non-conforming. I don't know. It's queer, and I like queer books. So, Love is the Higher Law is a book that follows three teenagers on the day of 9-11. I don't know much more about it besides that. It's by David Levinson, which is one of the David Levinson books I haven't read yet, um, and it was at my library, so I picked it up. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty short book. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be very intense, but good read. I'm in the middle of a lot of books. <laughs> if you notice the little thing, I started this book, but then I was like, no. Nah. Boom! Thinking Like a Mountain. Uh, concrete. It's basically, Thinking Like a Mountain was a book that, a class, I took a class called Thinking Like a Mountain, that was based around a book about a weird utopia dystopia place. Very similar in, to this in a way. This is following a character named Concrete who's a man made of concrete and a very similar plot line to that. But this was a little weird. Um, Concrete's an interesting main character and I don't really know how I felt about it, to be, <laughs> to be completely honest. I, I haven't rated it. I haven't reviewed it yet. Um, so I'm still holding on to it, even though I've already read it, because I just don't know with it at all right now. <laughs> We've got Justice League Dark Volume 3 and Volume 4. I've reviewed both of these on the channel, I feel like, um, and I read them a very long time ago, so you can guess how long I've been renewing them, which is probably bad. But also, I just like rereading them, so I'm, I've just been renewing them since no one's had a hold on it, and I haven't had to take it back yet. I have volume one, volume two, and volume three of Young Avengers. I don't owe these. They are from the library. I know I've had I've shown them in so many videos. I literally just keep renewing them. So that's the thing. Also, my boyfriend has not read volume two or three yet. He needs to. Um, I've been trying to get him to. We, we, we read, like, I was reading, rereading Ryan 2 when he was reading Ryan 1, but he hasn't finished the series that he needs to, so I'm just sad. I'm just sad. Anyway, I have my Young Avengers, my babies. I love them, so there you go. Runaways Complete Collection Volume 3. I still haven't jumped back into this yet. I'm about, I, I got partial way to, through. Um, I'm still kind of reeling for volume two. I feel like you can't, I, I, can, I can't read them back to back like I wanted to. I had to put this down, but I'm going to go back to it and finish it for sure. Um, and review it because it's the Runaways, and I review all the Runaways. So, yeah. At least, I, I didn't review volume two in a video form, but I did write a blog post about it. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to probably do a video one for them for you, though. So, we'll okay. Boy Robot by Simon Curtis. Um, I don't actually know much about what this book is about either, but um, Cheyenne Prescott, who is a booktuber, really, really loves this book. And I really love her reading taste and her, like, book sense, the things that she likes a lot and books. Like, we like a lot of the same books. So I decided to pick this up from the library, and I started reading it. But I will. I really will. I will. I really will. I'm going to try to read it at some point. This book's a little more intimidating. Um, it just looks big. So... The writer, the font's pretty nice size, though, so it probably really isn't that bad, but, like, it looks intimidating, so it's been a problem. But, like, I will read it. 
Like, it's just a problem when I'm looking at this huge stack of library books. It's not going to, it's not really one of the first things I want to pick up. Um, but yeah. Magic Steps by Tamora Pierce. I really don't see me ever having a problem renewing this book, and that's why it's probably been pushed back as far as it had. This is one of Sandry's books in the series, uh, in, in the Circle Open series. This is Sandry's book in the Circle Open series. Um, and it's essentially about Sandry. Um, the Circle Opens, all, the four main characters of the Circle Mad series have gone off. They are now mages, like they are certified mages. Um, and they have, and now they get students, essentially. And Sandry's student has dance magic, which is like always been a really interesting thing to me. Like, how does dance magic work in this book? Uh, especially because Sandy's magic has never been the most, has always been kind of one of the more unique magic. She has like thread magic sort of thing, but she, de she deals like with magic dealing with cloth and clothing. Um, so her picking up such an interesting student would be really interesting to see how Sandry handles teaching a student, first of all, and also just like mentoring somewhere because just seeing where Sandry was at the beginning of the series, seeing where she is uh, now and where she goes from here, actually. I, I just I just think it's really going to be a, a, a interesting to see. Um, I also know some events that are going to be happening in this because I've read future series, future books in the series, and I'm just wondering how those things come about. I'll just say that. Yeah. Burnt Money. No, it's not called Burnt Money. It's called Money to Burn by Ricardo Piglio. Um, I watched one of my favorite queer films is Burnt Money. It's an Argentinian film that is based off of this book. Uh, which I think the original book title is like Plata Canada, or maybe that's the original film title. I don't know. It's throwing me off. Um, yeah, but the the movie title for the American movie title is Burnt Money. Great film. And the book is Money to Burn, and so I wanted to pick this up and read it. Um, it the book is one of the more intense films that I like. I don't usually like a lot of thrillery intense films, but that definitely is one of the more intense films that I like. So. I've been a little cautious to jump into this right now, but I do really want to read it. Um, I, I feel like I have moments where I have to get into thriller moods, like when I read I Hunt Killers last month. I should have read this at the same time, but I didn't. But I'll probably read this in the sequel to I Hunt Killers, because I know I'm going to take it out, let's be real, um, at the same time. Like, I'll probably be listening to the sequel to I Hunt Killers on audiobook, and I'll be reading this in further copy. So, I'm excited to read it. Um, it's going to be good. Also, I didn't say that this book is hella queer. It's about two gay robbers, like they're criminals, um, who are gay, um, and super gay for each other, um, and so yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, it's pretty good, the movie's good, I'm assuming the book's gonna be pretty good too, so I'm hoping I like the book, um, but yeah, I didn't know it was a book when I watched the movie, or I probably would have tried to get the book first, but like, honestly, at the time where I watched that film, I don't think I would have been able to get this book on my own at the time, I feel like my mom and dad were very like, watchful of me then, and, like, attaining queer literature was a little bit harder as long as I, at that time in my life. But watching the film was pretty easy because I just watched it online, like, at night or something like that. So, yeah. Um, three more books, and it's worked very far into the video. I said it was 19 books. I did. I did. It's fine. Santa Olivia by Jacqueline Carey. Um, people like this. I think it might be queer. It's about a werewolf who's also a boxer, and I think it's a little bit queer. Because I feel like the people who have recommended it to me are, like, the boy who cried books. And, like, other people I know who read a lot of queer lit. Like, um, Rachel Pages. I feel like those two recommend this. But, yeah, that's all I know about it. Fantasy? Boxing? Werewolf? Possibly? Yeah. I could be completely wrong about this book, you know what? But, because I haven't read it yet, but I really do need to read it. This is a book that I've had out for a very long time. Uh, I'm going to I had out for a long time. Through the Woods. Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's just a collection of stories about, or is it like dark fairy tale? Five mysterious, fine tingling stories following journeys into and out of the eerie abyss. Ooh. It's only five stories. I really should just fucking read this. Let's be real. But, I'm a follower. I like to fit in. I'm just kidding. I was reading Glenary and Blood. I literally got this book because R.C. from Neck of the Book Lock and Tanner from The Boy Who... Um, I literally got this book because R.C. from Neck of the Book Lock and Tanner from Tanner's Books and Beyond were reading it as a buddy read. And I was like, ooh, I wonder if my library has the book. And then I took it out. And then I still... And then I just never read it. It's, it's just here. And I don't know if they liked the book, actually. I think they said it was okay. So, 
Yeah, but I really like Hannah Moskowitz. Hannah Moskowitz is really fantastic writer. I think not otherwise best writer is just one of my favorite reads ever. Um, so I'm I'm like I'm not expecting this to be on that level at all, but I am excited to read more from Hannah Moskowitz. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that at some point, probably maybe I don't know. Uh, also, I just realized something. I have a book out. Then uh, I have another library thing out. It is As I Descend Up at Robin Tally. I never read the physical book, so I took out the audio book, and I have the audio book out. I think I have, like, two weeks left on it. I'm going to try to finish that audio book, guys. Wish me luck on that one, because I really don't know how that's going to happen. But, like, yeah, I'm going to try to find time to listen to the audio book over the next couple weeks, because I want to. I want to do that. And maybe that will kick off my want to read something else in this style. I don't really know. We'll see. Um, I've, there's three other things that I have that aren't libraries that I borrowed, and I treat them like that. When I borrow something, I like to read it and get it back to the person as possible. So I have two, actually, that were get sent to me. Um, a Girl on the Shore by Ennio Asano. Uh, my friend Avi actually loves this manga, and so I, he gave it to me to read, and I'll probably be reading this actually pretty soon. I'm probably going gonna to read this in the next couple weeks, so I know I'll be seeing him at the end of the month. So this might actually get pushed up in my reading, because I know I want to get stuck to him like soon after I finish it, and I'll be seeing him at the end of the month for my boyfriend's birthday, probably, around then. So, yeah, that's going to be something I... I want to read so I get to him. and I don't really know exactly what this is about, but I remember he was telling me about it, and I was, like, shook. So, <laughs> it's an intense teen romance. I don't know. It just looks really pretty, by the way. I know my camera's really picking up on it right now, but, like, it's really pretty. Which, I think this is about, this is, and also by Annie Osana. I think this is the book about the, yeah, this is a book about a character, and you're, and the, through the bottoms you're following this character's life, and the art is, what it, what struck me as interesting in this book, is that, yeah, the art's really interesting, but everyone in the, um, everyone's drawn very realistically and real, except for the main character and his family, who are all birds. It's really interesting, and I don't even know what I'm getting myself into, to be honest. But yeah, he, 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 main character and his, and his family are drawn like that. Everyone else is drawn very realistic. And like, the artwork looks really, 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 really well done, to be honest. And so I'm excited for it. Um, so yeah, this room's really, really good. I'm, I'm up for it. Um, all right, that's it. Then all the books that I currently have out of the library are, um, are have borrowed from people. Um, if you guys have any, any opinions on some of these books, if you read them, tell me what you thought. Uh, of the books, and if you think I should, like, read them soon, because, honestly, I don't know that I may maybe only be in the flu with my order of reading these books, because I have been not having the best reading year so far. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm very really excited about all these books. I just have not had time to read. Um, so, yeah, but if you think I should definitely, like, dive into one of these books right now, let me know in the comments down below, because I would love some in, more some push. Just give me some push. Um, but, yeah. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next one.